James Held at Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global with me. I've got Carl Frampton. We're back in his home city of Belfast. How are you? How you doing, man? I'm yeah? good, good. Does it feel good to be back in front of your home fans knowing you've got a, a big fight this I, I love it. I got in on Saturday. I'm going to stay in uh, near a hotel, but I, I, love, I love being around the people of Belfast and uh, soaking up the atmosphere in fight week. And, yeah, that's what I enjoy most. I love fighting at home more than anywhere else. Now, this will be the first time you're going into a fight on the back of a defeat. Yeah. Did that motivate you in camp a little bit more? Did it? How did it work? Did it take longer well, to get I don't know. It, yeah, it took me a while to get over. It took me probably a month and I have to thank my wife, I think, for helping me through it. And I wouldn't say go as far as to say I was depressed, but I just wasn't myself for a while after that fight. But I'm completely over it now and I've, I've thought about it, I've evaluated things and I lost to a very good fighter in a close fight. I didn't perform and he boxed out of his skin, so that's it, that's plain and simple. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm ready, I'm ready to go again, I'm in a good place and mentally. I still believe I have a lot to give. I think Andres Gutierrez is a good fighter, but I think he's made for me and you're going to see one of my better performances on Saturday. Now you're in with the young hungry lion, Andres Gutierrez, he's yeah. got the advantage in terms of youth. Yeah. He's a younger, a little bit fresher. Yeah. What are your thoughts on, on, on Gutierrez? I think he's a good fighter, he punches very hard, obviously his record will suggest that, but um, I just believe that experience is going to count for a lot in this fight. Um, he's talking about the age being a factor as if I'm on the slide, but that's that's not the case and uh, I've been in with and beaten better fighters than him he hasn't been in with anyone like me yet and uh, I think that's going to be the real difference now you've gained a lot of fans not just in Ireland in Belfast but across sort of the country and quite abroad as well for the way yeah. you conduct yourself carry yourself and the way you interact with your fans and stuff do you do you feel as if your profiles got bigger since since the sort of the defeat Pro I think it probably has um, I don't know, people suppose like honesty and I was being honest after the fight. There was no there was no bullshit. I, I thought that straight up you know, when the decision was called. Actually straight away when the final bell went, I just thought I'd lost the fight. I didn't do enough and uh, Santa Cruz won so I wasn't gonna say anything different and People seem to respect that, and I've been getting a lot of respect for that, but that's, that was just me being honest. One fighter who has gained a lot of respect for his actions outside the ring and inside the ring of late is Lee Selby. And I read your, your, sort of, your message to Lee, to your rival Lee, about in regards to what happened. I thought that was a nice thing. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't know what sort of... I, I couldn't have done it. If I'm being honest, it takes a mentally very strong person to do what he done and you know the death of his mother and then fight a few days later. Um, I, I just couldn't have done it, but you know, fair play to Lee for doing that. And going in and looking impressive, to be honest, you know, he, he just looked looked good and uh, I don't know, fair play to him for doing it. And, uh, and that's it really, it was just, just showing my respects, that's all. Lee Selby directly after his fight mentioned your name, he, he said he's willing to come to Belfast. I mean, somewhere down the line, potentially this year, could you yeah, see it? Yeah, maybe, maybe before the end of the year, but again, Gutierrez is the only man that I'm thinking about at the minute, but Selby is a potential opponent, and like the rest of the big names and like the rest of the guys with belts, but um, Selby makes a lot of sense too. What's the secret for Belfast? You've got yourself, you've got Michael Conlon, you've got world champion Ryan Burnett, yeah. as well as a whole host of top prospects and established fighters in the Belfast scene. What's the secret for this city in producing? I don't know. We've always been a we've always been a good fight city. Um, I don't know. It's a wee bit of a lull, but we've always had the good fighters. Maybe just not getting the exposure. And you know, you guys like Mick Conlon, as Mick Conlon, have you said? Paddy uh, Barnes as well. Paddy Barnes, just about Paddy. the same. You forgot him. Yeah. Paddy, Jamie Conlon as well. <laughs> Tom McCann, about Tommy McCarthy. Paddy Gall on the on the undercard, Bernat, world champion, Conrad. Let's just the, the list is endless and uh, not to forget Tyro McKenna as well with a moustache. Did you I can, say Tyro McKenna? We can chuck him in there. I so thought I said him. You can chuck him in. All right. Um, yeah, but we've got we've got a lot of talent here, and we can get big builds going. And uh, there's another big build. Hopefully we can get. Hopefully we can get some more. Speaking of big bills, one Irish fighter was in the biggest bill of all time. Conor McGregor taking on Floyd Mayweather, yeah. the equivalent of playing in the Champions League final on your debut. What are your thoughts on it, Conor McGregor's it's, chances? It's not. I'm going to it. Um, so I'm going to over and promise a couple of tickets as well, which is nice. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Recently, I've started to change my mind. At the start, I was just like. Uh, no chance for McGregor, Mayweather's going to box ahead of him, but 
I'm thinking about think he's massive. Like <laughs> McGregor is huge. Um, Mayweather is old. Um, I don't know. I'm starting to. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of sitting in the fence at this point. Is that time. patriotism bringing you to I, I don't know. I don't know because I think if if McGregor beats Mayweather. It's terrible for boxing, it just makes all boxers look like idiots, you know, guy coming in his debut and beating the best fighter of our generation, but recently I've just had this feeling that he's just, I don't know, he could do something, you know, he's just so big, so young, aggressive, hungry, determined, I don't know. What advice would you give to Conor McGregor for this fight? As an experienced boxer who's held world titles, what advice would you give him personally? See, I, I don't want to try and give him any advice. I couldn't give anyone, never mind someone coming from uh, the UFC. I, I couldn't give anyone advice on how to beat Floyd Mayweather. He's the best fighter of my generation. What I would say is, there's probably something in the contract, but get um, get the smallest gloves that he can wear as possible. Um, hardest punching gloves, punchers gloves. Um, Mayweather, I'm guessing, will have something in the contract that stipulates the gloves. But if he can get away with wearing punchers gloves, I would do that. So you'd recommend he wears a small pair of Reyes then? Potentially. Reyes or Everlast M Max, and get away with them. You know, punchers grunts, anything that. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. There's probably something silly in the contract that they're orthopedic grants or something he gets, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Massive pillows. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. The smallest gloves possible. Do you think if it is close, there's a possibility that there could be a controversial decision? Because well, the something's going to happen, it's not going to be a boring so fight. Much money, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's not going to be a boring fight. Something, something is going to happen and uh, to get people talking again. And if there's a rematch, that's just silly money again. Speaking of Conor McGregor, have you been to see his tailor today? No, he here. Very dapper, I've got to say, is, very debonair. This is. Where's, Chris, this, where's this look come from? Chris Suter sorted me out, right? And we, um, he ordered a suit. Um, he sent away for it. Well, he he just picks the material and they make it. Um, but it was about six weeks ago, and. Two weeks after he kind of ordered the pinstripe, McGregor comes out with a fucking fuck you pinstripe and people are going to think I'm copying him, but I'm not, I'm not, um, this was ordered before. So, Listen, it, but it's lovely, I love it. I feel, I feel a bit gangster. It does, it does look the part. Al Capone. It does look the part. Yeah, the light. Is his real much. name Suter? His real name's Suter. You and can't he told make me suits and be called Suter. Uh, his can't. real name's Suter, he told me, he, and he told me recently that um, his mother's maiden name, what was it? Sure. Taylor. <laughs> Swear to God. You can't make, you can't make it up. You can't make this up. Right, I think Sue has got enough free promotion out of us today. <laughs> On that note, Carl Frampton, see you at the weigh-in tomorrow. Anything you want to add before we go, champ? Anything you want to say? No, just, you know, the weigh-in always is great but um, it's all about the fight and getting back and doing what I can do best on uh, on Saturday night. All on you mate, thank you very much Thanks, for your time, mate. I appreciate it. Cheers Jim.